So we are at the last day of Anoga Food Tech 2015 and I'm standing in the stand of Mikvak, the Swedish company, with the managing director Håkan Pettersson. Uh, Håkan, what do you think about Anoga this year? I think it has been very good. It has been intense days really, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and now we are on the final day here. So for us it has been good, really. Thanks. Hmm. Um, you have had some presentations in your stand here uh, during the days about uh, some research done. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Exactly. We had actually two presentations during two of the days and we had uh, institutes, so external parties presenting for us. Uh, one of them was from uh, Swedish Institute SEEK, Birgitta Råholt, who made a presentation about all the advantages of microwave technology. And the second one was uh, uh, Dorothy Kregel at the Keen Lebensmittel Institute in Germany, who had made a quite comprehensive study comparing microwave technology and retort or autoclave uh, technology. And the results are uh, very, very good for microwave. Uh, cost, operational cost, less than one third of autoclave. Nutrition value much higher for microwave. And uh, last but not least, also the CO2 or the environmental profile is dramatically lower for companies using microwave technology. So we feel that uh, really uh, microwave technology is something for the future in the industry. Maybe it could be a good idea that you explain very briefly your technique for those ah. who don't know it. Okay, very good. What we're doing is that we, we, we could have a tray or we can have a bag and we put raw ingredients into the tray. And then we make a hole in a film and we apply our patented valve, the MICVAC valve. And we seal that package of that container. And then it goes into the industrial microwave oven where you actually cook and pasteurize the product inside the package. Steam is building up, the valve is released, uh, opening and the, the oxygen is released through the valve. So we have a super fast heating, a ready meal might be seven, eight minutes cooking time. And after that, the valve is closing, creating a vacuum so there is no air in the product. And no air in the product means keeping the quality, the nutrition value, and also extending the shelf life. So our customers, for example, they are labeling between 35 and 60 days shelf life without any preservatives for a shield ready meal. So where do you have your markets and how is the market development for you? We have the base in the Nordics, but we are also present in, uh, in uh, European countries. We, we have customers in nine countries today. Uh, furthest away is Australia, and uh, we are into Japan, and we'll be into South Korea very soon. Uh, we made five new um, customer contracts during last year, and those ones we are implementing this, this, uh, this year, and started also last year, so it's really expanding, but there is more more to more to come and there is more opportunities okay and here in your stand this year do you have any new products or uh, fresh products with you exactly we, we've been focusing quite a lot the last three four years really on portfolio development and uh, we have our best seller is the one compartment tray It's between two 200 grams up to 400 grams but we can do one kilo trays as well uh, during this year we have some news here for example, we have two compartment trays using one valve only. Let's see if I can show it like this. So that is uh, that is something we have developed. One valve communicating to the two compartments here, and it's going to be launched during this year. So this is new for us. And then we also uh, can use the same technology with uh, thermoform products. So uh, we can use thermoform products for components, for vegetables, for uh, fish products, and pack it like this. So that's also news what we're introducing. And we have seen a lot of big interest really for these applications as well. Uh, I can mention one more thing is that we are test launching now in the UK uh, oat based porridge in a new tray, a round nice tray, which is also printed on the on the on the outside in order to yeah, give the visibility a much better uh, look and also avoiding the sleeves so they can actually cut operational cost as well so there's a lot of things happening and more to come as well you have been on the market now for, for some time do you look at yourself as a, still a development company or a, are you a company that is established on the market we, we, we are proud to say that we, we are truly an innovative company, uh, but we are even prouder to say that it's being industrialized, so it's really taking place, it works in the, in the, in the different markets. 
Uh, we will always be an innovation company who develops new things, but the core is already industrialized and is out there to be used. In many markets, even though we have had it for a few years, it will be new in, in, the, in, the, in the new market, so it's going to be treated as innovations for sure. And is there any market that is of extra special interest for you? We're actually um, in, uh, uh, we're, we're kind of focusing on the European markets and then uh, Japan, South Korea, Southeast Asia together with our partner Dynapon Printing and North America and Americas with our partner Bide Bimis Group. So those are the strategic focus uh, when it comes to our uh, actions and resources. In Europe we actually at the moment we are uh, looking for uh, strengthening the organization with more salespeople in Germany and also in France. So France, Germany and UK would be the emphasis during during the, the next years to come. So in other words the future looks bright? Exactly. No, we think so as well. So uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.